Hello friends, so in this video we will see an easy way to identify the language accepted by the DFA. So uh, we we have a question, so we have the DFA and we have few options of languages. So we need to identify which option is correct. So our option contains languages. So which language is accepted by the DFA or not. So what we will do is we will go to uh, each option and we will try our best to make this option incorrect. And if after trying a lot, if this is not incorrect, then this could be the correct answer. So we we have to follow uh, two rules to identify if a language is accepted by the DFA or not. So from from an option, we should find. So the first thing is we should find at least one string that is in option and that is in not in DFA. So we can see the uh, see that first one is in option not in DFA and the second thing is the reverse of this in DFA not in option so the thing is we should find so the first option is we should find at least one string that is satisfied by the option but not by the given DFA or we should find at least one string which is accepted by the D the given DFA but uh, that is not accepted by the option language right so let's find out so here the first option is set of all strings starts with BB right so here at the first look it seems that it, this is the language accepted by this DFA because here we can see that the strings are starting with BB right but here we can see that if a string starts with a also then this could reach to the uh, to the final state so a string starting with a should reach to final state so here suppose the string is a b b so here from a we have q naught then b then b we we will reach to q2 that is uh, that is final state so this string is accepted by the dfa but here the option is saying that set of is all strings it starts with bb so 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 we we just found a string we just have implemented the second option we just found a, a string that is accepted by the dfa but that is not accepted by the option because option is saying it starts with bb so this is accepted by dfa not accepted by option so this is the incorrect option now second thing is set of all strings ends with bb so again we can see that we are here we are having a symbol on a that is on final state so we can see that we have some string that ends with that can ends with a suppose we have this string b b a so b b and then a so it is accepted by the dfa but b b a is not accepted by the option because it is saying that ends with b b right so again we implemented the second option we just found one string that is in dfa but not in the option now third, uh, third option is set up all strings contains at least two b's right so suppose we we have a string b a b so now we just implemented the first option we just found one string b a b that is an option because here it is saying that it contains at least two b's so we have at least two b so this string is accepted by the option but when we go to uh, like use b a b in this dfa so we have b then a then b so we reach to non final state then this string is not accepted by this dfa so this string is uh, accepted by the option but not in the dfa so this is again not the correct option so the correct option is the last one none right so this way by using this simple trick we can find if uh, like which option is correct like which language is, is accepted by the dfa now let's see this uh, big uh, dfa so this is actually a get question so we have this dfa and then we have some options so we'll try this way to find yeah uh, which of the languages accepted by this dfa right so the first option is length of the string at least six so any so it is saying that any string with at least six length is the language right but here we can see that we have one one and then 
any number of ones so suppose we we have seven ones right three three six and seven ones so this this seven one is accepted by this option so we go with the first option so this seven one is accepted by this uh, option because length of the string at least six we have length of the string seven so this is this is accepted by the option but let's go to the dfa one one and then five ones one 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 so we reach to non-final state so this string is not accepted by the dfa so now the second option is number of zeros at least four and number of ones at least two right so suppose suppose we have this string uh five zeros and then two ones so here this string is satisfied by the language because we have at least four uh four zeros and then we have at least two ones but but let uh, let's go to the dfa so we have uh, zero 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 then one zero and then one one so here we reach to this state which is non-final so again this string is accepted by the option but not accepted by the dfa first option this first one so this is again not the correct answer so the third option is number of zeros exactly four and number of ones exactly two so here we can see that we we can have a thing like one 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 and then zero 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 so we will go with the second option see this string will be accepted by this dfs see we have four ones so one one then two ones here and then zero 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 so this so this is the final state so this string is accepted by the dfa let's see if this is accepted by the uh, option or not so here number of zeros exactly four this is true and number of ones exactly two but here we have the number of ones four it, this is not exactly two so this uh, uh, string is accepted by the dfa but this string is not accepted by the option so this option is also incorrect so the correct option is number of zeros exactly four and number of ones at least two so this is the correct answer now we have a few points related to dfa so in any dfa if there is no final state then language accepted by the dfa is empty language and in uh, dfa if all the states are final states then language accepted by the dfa is complete language for example suppose we have two states and uh, a b and then b and then a so here in this dfa we we don't have any final state so the first option we don't have any final state then this the language accepted by this dfa is empty language because whatever string we will give this we this won't reach to final state because we don't have final state so if we give input a or a or a b or a b b or like anything it will reach to non-final state because we don't have the final state so it won't accept any like the string so it will accept the empty language the second option is if all the states of the dfa is final states then the language accepted by the dfa is complete language sigma star so here because whatever input we will give it will reach to final state we will give a or b or a b b or a or b b so whatever we will give because all the states are the final states we will reach we will finally reach to the final state so this will be accepted by the uh, so this will accept the complete language now what is dead state so it is a non-final state having self loop on all input symbols so we saw in last example so here we have the dead state so dead state is a non-final state having self loop on all input symbols so dead state is basically uh, that state from which we can't reach the final state because we have the self loop on all input symbols so this is not having any input symbol to reach to the final state so this is called as the dead state now we have this question that construct tfa for the following language so a power n b power m and the condition is n should be greater than m so here comparison exists between these elements so whenever comparison exists between symbols then that is not means dfa not possible for that language so here we have few points dfa fails to recognize languages in which comparison exists between symbols now the language for which dfa possible are known as regular languages 
and the language for which df is not possible or non regular languages so let's find from these languages which are regular and which are not so here we have a, a power n b power n but we don't have comparison between n m this is the condition that n m should be greater than or equal to 1 so we don't have comparison between n and m so this is the regular language here n n is there so number of a should be equal to number of b so comparison exists so this is not the regular language here we have a power n a, b power m c power k but we don't have comparison between a b and c so this is dfa here we have a power n b power m plus n c power m so this could this can be written as a power n b power n b power m and c power m because b power n b power m is b power n plus m so here we can see that comparison exists between a b because number of a and number of b should be equal comparison exists between b and c also number of b and number of c should be equal right so comparison ex uh, exists so this is again not the regular language here we have a power n b power 2 m c power 3 k but we don't have comparison between a, a b c so this is regular language here we have a power n b power 2 m so the number of b should be uh, like double of a so comparison exists so we so this is not the regular language here we have a a power n b power m and n is not is equal to m so comparison exists between uh, this a and b so this is also a non-regular language